Okay, today we're going to talk about how to find the surface area of a regular pyramid. Um, it is sort of important that we are talking about regular pyramids today. Um, there are many other types of pyramids. We're going to start with regular just as a nice sort of basic introduction to this. And I'll talk about what might be different in non-regular pyramids later. But here we have an example of a regular pyramid on the left. And here's our definition. It says that a regular pyramid is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon and whose altitude intersects the center of the base. Now basically all that means is that the base has to be regular, which here we have a square. Um, you could also have an equilateral triangle, um, a regular pentagon, any shape where on the bottom, the base, it is... Um, a shape with all congruent sides and all congruent angles. And then this other part where it says whose altitude intersects the center of the base. Altitude is just a geometry word for height. Um, <clears throat> and that just means that the pyramid looks like you would expect it to look, where it's not leaning over to one side. Uh, everything is sort of straight up above the middle. Um, if it is leaning over to one side, we call that an oblique pyramid. But for here, we're talking about regular pyramids. Okay, so now let's talk about how we would actually find the surface area of a pyramid. So to find the surface area of our regular pyramid here, we're going to start um, by drawing the net. And so let's look at a picture of the net here. For the net, I like to start, if it's the net of a pyramid, I like to start with my base, which in this case is a square, and that's close enough to a square. And then I just sort of fold back each of the triangular faces. Since this is a regular pyramid, I try to make my triangular faces as congruent as I possibly can here. Okay, so that's my net. Let's shrink this for just a minute, move it over there. I can see that in my net I have four triangles for my lateral faces and then the base is a square. So to find the surface area I just need to find the area of all four triangles which will be the lateral area and then add in the base to get the total surface area. Lateral surface area is just surface area without the base. So to find that lateral surface area, we're going to first need to remember the formula for the area of a triangle. I like to abbreviate triangle by just drawing sort of a triangle, although that looks more like a shark fin than a triangle. The area of a triangle, hopefully we remember, is one-half base times height. And again, let's just shrink this, and shrink that a little bit, put it up there for later. And what's going to be important for us to remember in all of our surface area problems is that your figure has a base and a height, and then each of the faces might also have bases and heights of their own. So you've just got to be careful when you say base and when you say height to keep track of which one you're talking about. Are you talking about the base of the pyramid and the height of the pyramid, or are you talking about the base and the height of one of the faces? Just be careful of that. Now to find my the area of each one of the triangles, if the area is 1 half base times height, I need to know what is the base and what is the height of each triangle. Now fortunately I know that the base of each triangle is 12. It's always the same. And the height, we know that the height must be perpendicular to the base and then go up to the highest point. So that's my height. Now again you've got to be careful of what is the height. The height of the triangle is not the same as the height of the pyramid. The height of the pyramid sort of goes right down here through the middle of the pyramid. And the height of the triangle, the 
height of the triangle goes along the outside of the triangle, which is on the outside of the pyramid, something like that. And that gets a special name, which we call slant height. And that's a great name for it because it is the height along those slanty outside parts of the pyramid. <clears throat> now, in order to find the slant height, because it's not the height of the pyramid, I've got to be a little bit creative here, and I've got to draw myself a new triangle inside the pyramid. And you can see we already have two of those sides here. Got the height of the pyramid, we've got the slant height. I'm just going to connect those two here to get a triangle. Okay. And so then the triangle that I have, let's draw this over here. My triangle is a right triangle where the hypotenuse is L, which is the slant height. The one leg is the actual height of the pyramid. And this bottom leg down here, well, the fact that it's a regular pyramid tells me that that should be 6. Now it's 6 in this case because since it's a regular pyramid, this triangle extends halfway across and halfway across 12 is 6. So then I should be able to find this slant height by just doing a little bit of Pythagorean theorem here. Give myself a little bit more room there. And so we do a squared plus b squared is c squared, where of course c squared, which is l in this case, must be the hypotenuse. So 10 squared plus 6 squared equals L squared. 10 squared is 100. 6 squared is 36. So that's 136 is L squared. I don't want L squared though, so I square root both sides. Get the square root of 136 is equal to L, and the square root of 136 is about 11.662. I like to use three decimal places. Um, any more, any less than that, and I think we're rounding too much, and more than that, and it just takes up a little bit too much room. Okay, so that is my slant height, which now that we've got that figured out, let's shrink that and drag that over here with that triangle. My six did not attach to the triangle here. And again, the reason we were doing that is because the slant height, L, is the height of each triangle. So in each triangle, my area, actually let's get away from the red here, whoa. Things are jumping around on me there. All I wanted to do was change my color, and what are you doing to me here? There we go. So the area, then, of each triangle is equal to 1 half, the base, which is 12, times that slant height, which is 11.662. So we'll have to try and cram this in here because I didn't leave myself very much room. Six, six, two, yay. 
which if we multiply that all out, we get approximately 69.971 centimeters squared. And it's centimeters squared because it's an area, and of course because I have 12 centimeters times 11.662 centimeters. Centimeters times centimeters is centimeters squared. Okay, so now that we're done with that, this does not want to change sizes on me. Okay, let's keep that right there. That's the area of one triangle, but I want the area of all four triangles which we're going to call the lateral area. Again, lateral area being everything except the base. So I'm not going to include this square just yet. Just the one, two, three, four triangles. So let's move our net out of the way here for now. And lateral area is again the area of everything but the base, which is just the four triangles, so we just take 4 times 69.971 centimeters squared to get our lateral area of 279.886 centimeters squared. Again, still centimeters squared because it's still area, and also this 4 doesn't have units on it. It's just 4 of these groups of centimeters squared. So that's my lateral area. Let's shrink that down a little bit here. And then my total surface area. Well, before we get to total surface area, let's find the area of the base. So let's say area of base and the base is just a square so that's just going to be 12 squared which is 144 centimeters squared again the 12 is in centimeters so when I take the 12 squared I'm really squaring the centimeters as well so let's shrink that now that we've got that give ourselves plenty of room to calculate our total surface area total surface area equals 279.886 plus 144 equals 423 Point eight eight six, and that should be centimeters squared as well because that's area too so to find the surface area of your regular pyramid I think the best way to do it is first draw the net being careful that you use the correct height you might have to be careful with this slant height to find the area of each triangle which we call the lateral area then find the area of the base and add them both up to get your total surface area. I use SA to approximate or to abbreviate surface area. Now there is a formula to find this that some books list. I don't think it's the greatest formula in the world. I think I prefer this way where you use the net and just add things. But I'll show And then uh, you can sort of figure out how this relates exactly to what we just did. This really is exactly what we just did. They say that the surface area of a regular pyramid is one-half the perimeter of the base times the slant height plus the area of the base. And to abbreviate that, it's one-half capital P for perimeter of the base times this cursive L for slant height plus capital B for area of the base. And again, I'll leave you to figure out why that formula is exactly the same as what we just did. But I think that to find the surface area of a regular pyramid, draw the net, find the area of every face, add it all up. Okay, that's all for today.